Jared Poland Frono's photo. Dot com, and this is your travel edition of Photo News Fix from California. For this week's plug, let's send it back to poofy hair Jared at the factory. This fix is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club and my clean shaven upper cheeks. Thanks to Dollar Shave Club, I no longer have to worry about looking like an overgrown wolf in the facial hair region. Did you know Dollar Shave Club isn't just for shaving? That's right, they have products for all your grooming needs from body wash, butt wipes, and toothpaste? Hey Steven, did you know they had toothpaste? No. Who knew? Well, they also have hair products too, so it doesn't look like you just woke up, like me. Right now, for only five bucks, you can get the Daily Essentials starter set, which includes four executive razor cartridges, an executive handle, the shower and shave trial kit, which comes with body wash, one wipe Charlie's, and more. Head on over to dollarshaveclub.com slash fro to get yours right now. First up, are you looking for a lens from a company who says you can achieve good image quality from it? Yep, that's exactly what I want from a company as well. A lens that can get good images, but not great. Young knew the company who brought us amazing lenses like the Plastic Lens, aka No Glass 50mm 1.8 for $59, is now stepping up their game with a 60mm f2 macro lens which is said to use actual glass this time. This manual focus lens has a minimum focus distance of just 9.2 inches. For comparison, the Nikon 60 millimeter macro has a minimum focus distance of 7.28 inches. Has Young New turned a leaf towards making quality glass? Hey Steven, what do you think? Nope. I agree with you too. Is the future of photography AI? Yes. The answer is actually yes, but don't worry, Vicky's not taking your job just yet. You are blubber buns. Have you seen those awesome editing videos that take a black and white image and turn them into an amazing color version and it only took them 50 hours to do it? Google Photos is planning on using AI to color black and white photos. The colorize tool inside of Google Photos uses AI to make its best guess of what a black and white image would look like if it were in color. Steven, I wonder how it would handle my Kuji sweater. Right now, Google is working to make this tech better as it's really good at turning grass green and probably turning skies blue, but it has trouble getting skin tones just where they need to be. Google says they won't be launching this feature until they get it really right. Now you see what they did right there? They don't wanna just get it right, they wanna get it really right, which is pretty similar to what they say when we're about to board a plane and they say, it's very full, when full would suffice. On top of working on colorization, Google is including other AI powered features such as automatic content creation for collages, animations, as well as movies. They can also make automatic photo enhancements like brightness, darkness, and auto desaturation of the background, which is kind of stupid because you should never use selective color. But here's the big question. How will it know how to punch my contrast up to 100? Now, if some of these features are for you, you're in luck because you can download the latest version of Google Photos and try them out for yourself. And when you're downloading that, you can also download my Gear Vault. And finally, there's a new drone from DJI, and no, it does not look like those amazing line drawings from a couple of weeks ago. DJI has announced the latest and greatest drone that is so advanced that it's called, no, no, wait for it, the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. That's right, DJI has majorly upgraded the Phantom 4 Pro, and by majorly, they didn't change that much. Here's a rundown of the major specs that were changed. One, it's now using OcuSync instead of LightBridge for data transmission, and two, it's 60% quieter, which is always a bonus. Now, I still have no idea how they make something 60% quieter than the original. Steven's actually been trying to make me 60% quieter for years. If these upgrades make you all tingly, which they don't make me tingly at all, you can purchase a new drone for $14.99 or $17.99 for the Phantom 4 Pro Plus version 2, which adds a remote with a built-in screen. And guess what? That's it. That's your photo news fix this time around. Don't forget to check out the last photo news fix by going and clicking on the screen somewhere right here. And that's all I've got for you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Jared Polin Frono's photo. Dot com. See ya.